the home of the common Joe and the common Sally in the know, even more so than all those media talking heads. Woo! Here we go again. Mounting on up, saddling up, riding on in once again the Outlaw Posse in effect. And the Outlaw Posse membership continues to grow as we are now up to a baker's dozen. And those three new members that are getting deputized today and getting their little badge that you'll see in the comment section when you make a comment, you get a little badge. Are as follows. J.D. Wilmoth, Billy Townsend, and Rich Castle have now joined the Outlaw Posse. And today's topic is about demotion. It seems like Joe Clapp may have touched upon something that might be true. You know, you keep thinking if they keep expanding and bringing in these teams, realignment don't always mean expansion. That's one of the two different words. So if they keep bringing teams in, the smaller pieces of pie become smaller, right? Well, not if you demote a few teams. And from what I understand, there may be some demotions coming, and there may be a few surprise names on that list that you wouldn't think of. Let's talk about it. Welcome in to another edition of the OCF. That is the Outlaw of College Football. I can also be found on Twitter at OCF Productions. Now, getting right to it here. Seems like uh, Joe Clatt, like I said earlier, may have touched on some stuff that may actually come true. I didn't really take much credence to it, but he was talking about the possibility of conferences actually demoting teams and moving them out of the conference. And uh, a big name that came up on fan sided was the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And at first it struck me, I'm like, damn, that, that, that can't be true. That, that can't happen. The Big Ten, can they even fathom the idea of getting rid of Nebraska with such a big historical name? And then I got to thinking about what they were saying in the article here. And I'll throw up a few screenshots here off and on from fansided.com. I think it's Huskers Corner as this part of fan sided. And they're basically saying that they don't really think it will happen, but there is a possibility. And for it to even be a possibility is earth-shattering to me. Because like I said, when I grew up, Nebraska was like a powerhouse. They were winning national championships in the 1990s, left and right. So this is big news to me. But since the 1990s, honestly, Nebraska has fell off big time. And they were made the point that in the three big money-making sports and men's sports, uh, football, basketball, and baseball, Nebraska's not been doing so well. Nebraska hasn't really been pulling their fair share since joining the Big Ten. They also lost their AAU status, which, you know, gives the Big Ten people a little elitist tent in their pants to hold over every other conference because they consider themselves, a, I guess, a watered-down version of the Ivy League or some shit. I don't know. But, um... The, the, the points that they made are, are, are actually pretty accurate. And I, I looked at it, and it's like Nebraska's baseball team hasn't been doing real well. Their basketball team has not been doing real well. And the football team has not been doing anywhere near what they used to do. So if they were going to demote teams from a conference, who else would they consider is the other question. And from what I've been hearing, as far as the Big Ten goes – Northwestern and Rutgers have also been talked about as demotions. And they just put Rutgers in there. <laughs> so Rutgers is probably going to be like, what? Damn, why'd y'all even invite us? But if this were to happen, I think there could be a silver lining in this for a lot of people. Nebraska people could go back to the Big 12. I'm sure the Big 12 would welcome back Nebraska with open arms. Or would they? I don't know. The Big 12 is expanding nationwide, and they're also trying to get more lucrative markets and more um, optical, um, optically better viewed brands these days. Uh, Nebraska, back to Nebraska just for a second. The, another thing that really hurts Nebraska, in my opinion, is their location. 
Lincoln, Nebraska is pretty unforgiving in the winter. And while they have good summers, they're nowhere near as good as the summers in, in, in most other locations. Uh, they're way located way out in the middle of the United States in a barren region, in my opinion. Um, nowhere near a beach. I don't know how the rivers are there. But they're in a pretty bad location, in my opinion. That also hurts. But as far as northwestern Rutgers goes, Rutgers, like I say, just invited them. Now, Rutgers basketball team has been good off and on, but they've done nothing to write home about. I think that they really rushed into the whole Rutgers thing. I think it was just a knee-jerk reaction to get Rutgers and Maryland in because they wanted to catch up with the SEC and they wanted to make it an even number of teams. And that's why they invited three the last time they expanded before this USC-UCLA thing. They took Nebraska, Northwestern, and Rutgers. Now, looking back on it, you know, yeah, Rutgers is in the New York market or close to it in New Jersey, but do people in New York really care about Rutgers? No. Nah. And Northwestern, while they've been good off and on in football, for the most part, do the history, as I like to say all the time, historically speaking, Northwestern is just a team that got grandfathered in back when, you know, academics actually meant something. <laughs> they don't think as much these days even though they'll try to push that AAU shit in your face. And then I got to thinking, well, the Big Ten's thinking about the voting teams. What about the SEC? And people think, well, the first team that pops to mind is always Vanderbilt, right? Vanderbilt helps with the uh, academic score and stuff in the, in the SEC and, and things like that. And they're in a decent-sized market in Nashville, but we all know, once again, doing your history, that that – whole entire state is mostly Tennessee volunteers. Even in the city of Nashville, most of them are volunteers. So Vanderbilt would be an obvious choice. The other two, if I was to take two teams out, would land between one of these three, and that's Mississippi State, Missouri, and Ole Miss. We all know Mississippi State is all is good off and on, as is Ole Miss. Missouri, same thing. But once again, Doing your history over a period of a hundred and something years, if you was going to take a few teams out and try to add a few other teams that are more lucrative, those teams will be on the chopping block as well. And once again, this could be a silver lining for the Big 12 if you think about it. If Missouri and Nebraska, for example, were to be demoted out of the SEC and the Big 10, I think they'd be pretty good landing spots for the Big 12. I also think that you can't, I don't even know if I really look at it as a demotion because the Big 12 is growing as such and making uh, much more money than it used to. It's getting great contracts with the with the addition of the four new teams they got and the fact that their um, conference commissioners is probably one of the most aggressive and outside-the-box thinking commissioners I've ever seen in Brett Yormack. I really like the guy. And if he could get Nebraska-Missouri in the Big 12 – I think Nebraska and Missouri fans would be a lot happier in the Big 12 as opposed to the Big 10 in the SEC. I don't know, what do you guys and gals think? Who do y'all think should be demoted? Now, as far as Mississippi State and Ole Miss goes, um, the reason why I throw them teams out there is, is mainly because of their location as well. Just like Nebraska, they're located in cities that are pretty uh, small, and out there in the woods. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been to Starkville, but yeah, it's really, really small, as is Oxford. Those two teams, if we were to have a pickup game today in college football and people were picking teams and there was no grandfathered in, because that's exactly what they are, those two teams are grandfathered into the SEC, I can guarantee you that Ole Miss and Mississippi State would not be picked to be on your conference team because they don't offer they just don't offer that much, to be quite honest with you. Now, they did win a national championship in baseball last year, good Ole Miss, and I think Mississippi State did the year before. And that might be the only two determining factors that might help them out. That and the fact that Ole Miss does have a, over a period of 100 years, doing your history once again, Ole Miss does have a decent football history. So that's why Ole Miss would be my last choice on the list. Now, Mississippi State, not so much. They hear – Lately, been a Johnny come lately, uh, off and on team. One year they'll be eight and four, next year they'll be four and eight. 
It's something to think about because if you keep expanding, the, the pieces of the pie do get smaller. That's the argument from people that don't want to see any more expansion is that you're making the pieces of the pie smaller. But you could make the, if you add more teams, I mean, why wouldn't the network at that point pay more money for bigger and better names? But I can see their point too in that the networks might be maxed out on money. So if the networks are maxed out on money and what they can do monetarily for these conferences, for the conferences to increase their value instead of adding teams and decreasing their value, then just demote a few of these teams and bring in the bigger, more glamorous names, so like the Big Ten did with USC and UCLA. You mean to tell me if the Big Ten knew they could do it and get away with it, that they wouldn't take Rutgers and Northwestern and trade them for Oregon and Washington? <laughs> yes. Yes, they would. They may not tell you that to your face, but yes, they would. And the SEC. You mean to tell me if the SEC can get away with it legally, that they would not bring in Clemson and Florida State over Ole Miss and Mississippi State and Vanderbilt? Well, they might even do a two-for-three deal. They might give the ACC those three and let them have, and let, let them, have them too. But if the SEC would get rid of all three of them, Clemson, Florida State, North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. If they could trade those teams for those teams in both conferences, they would do it. So this little rumor that Joel Klatt started about demotion of teams and, and uh, that kind of thing may be actually coming to fruition. You guys and guys tell me what you think about all this. Drop it in the comment section. Also, there's a little heart down here if you don't want to do the whole outlaw posse thing and join up. There's a little heart down here. You can throw a one-time donation in there. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And as always, KMCA to all the other teams. Class is now officially dismissed.